They only come out of hiding once every four years, but today marks the beginning of the playing cycle of the British and Irish Lions. A rare game at home at Murray Field will be their opening matchup of the series as they take on Japan to get things underway. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and thanks for joining me where I will be bringing you the British and Irish Lions tour as they line up for hopefully each and every matchup. Today it is the Lions versus Japan and this is how the two teams are looking for this opening pre-tour, shall we call it, matchup of the Lions tour of South Africa. Starting off with the two sides in the front row. It will be the Scotsman, Rory Sutherland, alongside the Welshman and the Irishman, Ken Owens and Tide Farlong. As for Japan, it will be Katie Anaki and Sushi Sakati and Jiwon Ku in the 1, 2 and 3 for the visitors. Moving into the second row, Ian Henderson and the touring captain, Alwyn Jones, will go up against the Japanese combination of Wimpy van der Waals and James Moore. The back row is where the action will see a lot of differences with the Lions going with a combination of Tide Byrne, Justin Tipperick and Jack Conan going up against the incredible captain of the Japanese side, Michael Leach at six, Lovie Zobasagne at seven and Amanaki Mafi donning that number eight jumper for the Japanese side. It's an interesting combination in the halves for the Lions of the Irishman and the Welshman, Conor Murray and Dan Bigger. They will go head to head with an experienced combination for Japan. Kato Shingiro and Yuru Tomura wear that halves, nine and ten shirts for the visitors. Moving in to the midfield, Bundy Arke gets his first start. An alliance jumper and your partner, the Irishman Robbie Henshaw, will be, will be Ryotsu Nakamura and Tim Lafaeli for Japan. On the wings, they should have seen plenty of ball out there. Duhan Vandermeer with the Scotsman, former South African. That'll be interesting to see how he goes through the tour. And he is up against Katoro Matsushima. And on the other side, it will be Josh Adams. And, of course, Siosaya Fafita, who is 11 for Japan. The battle of fullbacks will be very interesting. Liam Williams and Ruahia Yamanaka for the visitors. Those two can explode out of the blocks at any given circumstance. So watch out for the 15s to really get into this action. Having a look at the bench for these two sides, and we can see plenty of names we know, and we'll see plenty of time in the Lions show as well. George Jones, Sinclair, Laws, Falatel, Price, Farrell, and Watson. On the other side for Japan, Hirokoshi, Miller, Valu, Kunilson, Himino, Tatafu, Saito, and Matsuda will be coming for that impact off the bench. Well, here we are. The Lions about to get underway, so strap yourselves in. The tour is about to begin. And it will be the Lions, promptly so, that kick this tour off. On halfway, Dan Bigger gets the call from the referee and the Lions. The tour has finally begun as Japan drag the ball down through James Moore. And they will struggle their way to first use of the football tonight. Shingeno looks to the big runners. Jiwon Ku offloads to Michael Leach. And we can see how this Japanese team is going to play very early on in this piece. Sakati has a run from the hooker. And they are keeping it nice and tight. Ayanaki, now they look out wide of Fafita. There's an early chance, a high tackle. And plenty of trouble early on. Liam Williams, first impact of the tour. He's conceded a penalty for a high shot. And an opportunity for Japan to promptly look to the uprights, but they do not. Instead, Tamura gets the call from Captain Michael Leach. He says, let's go to the corner. And let's try for those seven valuable points. You can see already, we are here for a Japanese side that wants to play rugby. Sakate will throw, full line out, seven men, three jumpers stolen in the middle. Alvin Jones shows just what he will bring to this Lions tour as captain. And it's probably kicked away from Dan Bigger. Return, Yamanaka. Might be a little too heavy, is it? It's bouncing in the end goal and does go dead. Yutamura was right there on hand as the sun sets behind the brilliant Murrayfield Stadium. And you'd imagine now the Lions all want to go Crouch. back all the way Find. back for a scrum. Set. Connor Murray to feed. It's a solid pack for the Lions. And oh my goodness me, they have demolished the Japanese scrum there very easily. Bigger. 
It's players are all in motion. Robbie Henshaw pass away to the fullback Liam Williams up in the line. Oh, that stays in by a whisker. It'll be a good touch finder for the Lions. Just like that, they've put the pressure back on the Japanese team. Sakate to throw again. Now he needs to hit his man more than ever. Great chance only for them to score. They've thrown it away. And now they've got to launch out of their own 22. And Tamura gives a big smash to this ball downfield. Straight off the set piece. Dan Bigger gets back. And a big chase from the Japanese as well. It almost shuts that down in a whisker. A desperate kick away from Murray. But it's nothing. But Yamanaka in the back. Sakata gets the offload. And Japan are fired up. But Alwyn Jones shuts them down for the second time tonight. And now Ian Henderson. Support from Bundy Arke. Japan over the ball quickly, but the Lions secure it back. Kunamari offloading in the tackle, keeping it tight now. It's tight for long. Has it hit up in the centre of the park. To the right, they look through Arke, and now here's Henshaw. One more to Josh Adams. He's chased down nicely by Fafita. Just outside the 22 now are the Lions. Looking for the first to a try. Big tackle from Leach, taking Murray down, turning it over as well. And a run for Mamnaki Murphy will secure possession for the Japanese as they look to rescue themselves out of their own half. Shinketo goes wide and Lafaele, great offload to Leach as well as the Japanese team find a bit of space. Matsushima almost getting on the outside of his opposite number. More offloading from Japan as Sakate has another run. As the Lions turn it over in Henderson, that's a big play to get the ball Bunch. back. For a long inside ball. Can't get away from Connor Murray who knocks it on in contact. Now, a bit of advantage on this side for Japan. Advantage over. They eventually kick it away a bit. Well, a bit uncultured like, and it finds its way over halfway. And a return from Josh Adams. Finds Murray and into midfield they go. Where it's Dan Bigger looking for a safety of touch. He's a sensible player. It's a great kick. It's an extraordinary kick. Pressure of Yamanaka at the back. And a good line's chase. Bundles him at the touch, six or seven out from his own line. And that is the turning point in this opening half an hour of the game. It's still nil nil, unbelievably. Japan holding their own well. Is at the front? Ian Henderson does very nicely. Dan Bigger changes direction and almost a runaway in for the try to Ken Owens. Great deception on that set play. Murray again. Up for fullback was Liam Williams. He turns it back to Ian Henderson and now having a run and dropping the ball is Rory Sutherland. It wobbles its way into touch and that is not how the Lions would have liked that first half to have gone so far. 33 minutes in and Sakati has a chance to get his team out of the 22. He does not make it work. And Justin Tipperick at the back. Now gives the Lions another shot. Another chance to win their first points on the board. Murray running. Big pass out wide from Conor Murray. And it should be a try. Marquee takes it in. He needed to pass. It was three on one and he took the one man out. Murray goes alone. Big tackle. Henderson's there to support. Tipperick as well. Waiting his furlong. Pick and go from the Irish prop. He goes just sideways. The Lions desperate now to score. It's been too long. Ken Owens opens it up and a drop goal from Bundy. Aki is away. Unbelievable. Japan survived. How do they survive that? What is Bundy Aki doing? Seconds to go. And those seconds are up as Tamura kicks it away. Connor Murray. Well, he's kicked that back down the middle of the park as well. Will Japan want to play? Picked up from Fafita and Yamanaka drills this downfield. Questions to be asked. Neither side wants the chance their arm right at the end, but instead they do run. Murray, nice little pass to Dan Bigger, who puts a chip over the top of the chase of Bundy Arke is right there. But Fafita, the man on toe, who gets it away. Matsushima back to Tamura. They don't want to play in their own half, but they don't want to kick it out either. Josh Adams gets back. He'll look to come back at them. No, Bigger goes back to Murray. And eventually they settle it down and kick back towards the Japanese 22. Tamura back to Yamanaka and he says, I've had enough. Nil nil. Unbelievable. Unbelievable first half of this Lions tour match against Japan. Both sides, especially the home team, the British and Irish Lions, have chance after chance to score. They just could not put the ball 
over the whitewash. Look at that, 33% of possession. That's all they had. But Terence on their side. A double for herself on the scoreboard, but entertaining all around the field as neither side managed to put points on the board. Bundy Arkeem missed a drop goal. That's how bizarre this half's been. Back out for the second half, Yuta Tamura and his Japanese boys will be probably pretty chuffed about how this one's going so far. Nil-nil, they're on level terms. As the second half gets underway, and it's nicely taken from that man Ty Brown who's been in everything. That's turned over. Big play from Murphy Race. in Japan. Get the ball back. You've got to say, if someone scores points here, it'll be a big difference maker. Here's Leach in the pass from Shingiro, and they lose it. The Lions turn it back over. And Henderson, nice pass to the row partner, Ellen Jones. And this is danger again as the Lions struggle to hold on to the ball. Connor Murray, another Race. pick from the scrum half in the Lions. Troubled at the breakdown. Japan, you see Murphy, I think, at the back who's pulling their ball out, and now there's a chance for them to go back once more. Lafaini look back inside, and it might be another turnover. I think the Lions, one phase rugby at the moment, ball retention is horrific. It's Josh Adams stripped from Fafita. Try saving tackle there. Arki, his decision making has been poor to say the least in this match so far. Adams again. Straight into the contact Release. of Sakati. We can go from Murray. This is better from Arke. The pass was on. Support wasn't there. Tipperick. He goes alone. It's still nil-nil, believe it or not. I can't quite. It's 50 minutes in. But no points, no tries, no penalties as well. Ian Henderson, the star. Henderson, they've got to score the lines. Numbers are there. Josh Adams, he'll get the play. And finally, the Lions score. Points on the board. Josh Adams, the scorer. Right under the uprights. But let's give it up for Ian Henderson. That was all the big man in the second row. The Irish tall timber finally broke his way through. Connor Murray was involved as well as Ken Owens. The Welshman, Josh Adams, finished it off. But boy, that was all in Henderson to keep that ball alive, to keep it in their hands. And finally, the Lions break through this stubborn Japanese defense. Dan Bigger right in front. No errors there at 7 0. And we can see a sigh of relief. Over the faces of not only the Lions players, but the coaching staff as well. That would have not been a great 50 minutes from them in any aspect of this match. Tamura gets us back underway. And oh, it's almost left to bounce. This could be a turnover. It certainly should be, and it is. Murphy again. It's Japan going slightly backwards. Shingiro gets it out. Matsushima, he can make something happen. Tamura puts a little grubber kick. Matsushima chases. And Liam Williams... Gets over the ball and places the back for anyone even there. Could have got up himself. Here's Dan Bigger. He'll clear the 22. And we're all excited now for what Japan can do on attack back the other way. Yamanaka. He's got the feet to get to a bit of a standstill. Murphy. Held up in midfield by Robbie Henshaw. Limasagli out again to Fafita. He slips it back inside the numbers and the high tackle again. This time it's Rory Sutherland who's having a bit of a shocker. Starting this first Lions match, he's going to get a yellow card. How apt the number one gets the number one yellow card for the tour. Rory Sutherland is off in the Lions. Maybe a little stressed now. The lead of only seven points. And a Japanese penalty that goes just outside the 22 from Tamura. Nakamura gives him the praise. He's looking for a Sakate. Needs this line out to work. No Southern, so losing their loose head prop, and they get it at the back, too. It's that man, Nabasagne, again. Shigeru. Fafita on his left. Nice offload. Beautiful to James Moore as well. Tomorrow's through. Another high tackle. Leah Williams has to go. Two high tackles from the Lions' fullback, and the referee's got no choice but to send him to the bin. Liam Williams goes, he joins Rory Sutherland, and if ever there's a chance now for Japan, oh, they're going for three, I don't believe it. Tamura, from the left-hand edge, to put points on the board for Japan, he sprays it wide, and it's picked up two there from Furlong, 
The time Furlong's gone up almost to the 22 metre line before any Japanese players gets close to him. This game's had it all. Two players in the bin for the Lions. Japan missing a shot at goal. Turning it over. Michael Leach! He's gone straight through the middle. Numbers to the left. Japan needs to clear it fast. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. Shigeru to the right. What a matter! Matsushima's over! Japan! Japan have struck! They've struck hard and late! Two men in the bin for the Lions! And it's Matsushima who grabs the try! Oh, we've seen everything in this low scoring stunning fixture to open up the Lions tour should have been a try there Shingiro he went the wrong way there were so many numbers to the legs but somehow he still got into the main man the finisher for Matsushima well I tell you what this is huge now two men in the bin maybe one will be returning soon just over 10 to play Tamura oh he's got to tie it up we are far from done here. 7-7. Seven, seven. Japan back in the game. Well, we do get one man back for the Lions. It's Rory Sutherland who rejoins. That means Liam Williams will still spend a bit of time in the Naughty Boys chair. But 14 on 15 levels things up a little bit more. Just like that. This game changes. Almost missed there. But Hanaki picks Release. it up nicely in the Lions. Well, they need the ball. Wasteful in the first 50 or so minutes. Finally got some points and they may well pay the price. No, Tipperick does what a good number seven does do. Drop goal from the Lions as well and truly short. It's gone over the post on the bounce. It's over! <laughs> what has happened? It's been called a drop goal. It bounced over the uprights. And it's a drop goal to the Lions. Since when did that rule change? Since when? Lions lead 10 7 6 to play. Well, how do you sum that up? It's slow ball for Dan Bigger. He's got Josh Adams on the outside. Time to wake up Japan because Dan Bigger is going to cut on half and tear your heart straight from your chest. Dan Bigger! The Lions have awoken on the bounce drop goal and now a breakaway try off the turnover. Dan Bigger in the scoring board for the Lions. Well, we've just been blown away by this game. Josh Adams a standout for the Lions, no question about that. Matsushima gave chase, he's been outstanding for Japan, but I'm still reeling from the bounced drop goal Connor Murray was it was it Connor Murray I don't even know who scored it I can't wait to see that three minutes to play 15-7 will become 17-7 yellow card still Liam Williams sits in the bin but the headlines have been written one bounce drop goal that's what we all read on the back pages or in some countries the front pages of your newspaper or your websites tomorrow 17-7 the score, Japan tenacious, stubborn, but will not win this opening exchange with the Lions as it goes down to Aki and the Lions are playing on another level now as Dan Bigger really is starting to shine in this team. And to Josh Adams once more, great pass inside Alma, Joe Scott to Bundy Aki, do they keep running there? Well, he's got it back to Conor Murray and now it's Ken Owens. No, he's gone back to Alwyn Jones. No one wants to decide anything. It's kicked it to touch from Aki. There was a try, screaming to be scored there for the Lions, but they've seen enough. They have seen enough and the headlines certainly will not be talking about that finish. Aki kicks it into touch and we are done with a 10 point win for the Lions. But Japan, hold your heads up high. That was some performance at 7-7. We thought the chances of an upset were well and truly alive. Dan Bigger and Josh Adams a try. Yes, it was. Connor Murray with that drop goal. Dan Bigger, two conversions as well. Matsushima got the try for Japan. Tabuta, a great conversion from the corner as well. But that drop goal, tell me about that drop goal. What happened for that even to be considered a successful kick?
The full time stats tell of an even match up, but the third line down again, that drop goal, two yellow cards, really did put this game fully in perspective for the two sides. And that is it for our tour round. Now, between the Lions and Japan, as Rugby Challenge 4 sees it. A tense one, a close one, a tight one, a very interesting one at that as well. But that does wrap up the only game of the British and Irish Lions tour of South Africa. Japan go down fighting, and we get our first big headline of this tour. Drop goals on the bounce. What can you say about that? I'll see you all next time when the Lions are back in action again very, very soon. They take on the Lions and the Sharks next up in Johannesburg before off they go to face the Bulls, South Africa A, the Stormers, and then the big ones, the three big tests against the Springboks. Until next time, thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed. What do you think of the Lions tour so far? And how do you see that three test match series between the Lions and the Springboks going later next month? I'll be back here for plenty more though, so thanks for tuning me this time, and I'll see you all for the next match. Until then, take care.